Alright guys, so to start your customization off, you're going to go ahead and place your wig on a wig stand and you're going to brush the baby hair back or any of the hair back just so you don't pluck hair that you don't want plucked out. And I'm going to go in around the hairline to give it a softer, more natural shape, to give it some curves and some squiggles. Basically I'm trying to make it look more like my natural hairline, which is kind of jaggedy and you want to go in and kind of like I said give it some shape and then you want to go in a little bit behind the hairline and a little bit into the bulk of the hair as you'll see me doing and this is just to soften the gradation from the very edge of your hairline into the wig and you will see a difference when when I kind of show you the wig you're gonna see a difference but what I want to say is I wish I would have done some more and you'll see as the wig progresses that I could have done a little bit more but I always think it's better to do less than to do too much because once you over pluck your lace you're pretty much done unless you know how to make wigs and add more hair but right now I'm just debulking and softening up that hairline and I'm even going to go into the part of the wig I'm gonna bring it back further and I'm going to make it look a little bit more natural right now it's kind of like a perfect square line which looks cute but I kind of wanted to give it a little bit more of an organic look and feel so as you can see I've pinned some of the front baby hair down as to not remove too much of the hair then you're going to create bald spots if you have hair missing in front of and behind the baby hair and you don't want to do that so I did that and I'm just going in and debulking the front a little bit more. This is pretty much what it looks like and pretty much what it will look like on your head. I love this stocking cap. It actually came with the wig and the wig is from wowafrican.com. So basically right now I'm going in and I'm adding um, hair moisturizer and oil to my hair because my hair is going to be wrapped up for a little while. And I'm going to go in with some Gorilla Snot Gel. If you're not familiar with that girl, what you doing here? And I'm just going to use that to press my edges back. And this is just going to help keep my edges safe from the adhesive. And it's also going to help to hold the stocking cap down. So now I'm going in, adding a little bit more Gorilla Snot and letting that dry naturally. And I'm going to go ahead and stretch my stocking cap over that gel. And that is going to help to hold it in place. I used to do a whole bunch of gel all over my whole head, but I live in Southern California. When it gets hot and your head is sweaty and you have a whole head full of gel, it's nasty. So as you can see, I tied my edges down a little bit with the Gorilla Snot. Now I'm going in with a little bit of the adhesive that I'm using, and that's Cling. I'm going to go ahead and tie that down just to further secure my stocking cap. So now I'm going in and I'm just cutting off the excess stocking cap and this is going to really really help your lace installation to look really natural. The wig is the color of my skin, it protects my edges and it's also helping to kind of give a little bit of a scalp look to help further um, disguise the grids on your lace wig. Tie that down a little bit more. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my wig up there and this, this part's really important because you want to just pull it and make sure that it's going to fit exactly where you want it to lay and you want to go in and cut your lace. You don't want to cut too straight across, you want to add some of those wiggles and waves in to kind of have your lace look a little bit more natural, leaving a little bit in the front. So now I'm going in with a pencil that's close enough to my skin tone to be noticed but not so bright that if it gets on my lace it's going to ruin it. I did that because that's going to allow me to know exactly where I need to put glue so I don't put too much or too little. In either case it could be disastrous for your lace wig so I really love doing that little technique. Again the adhesive that I'm using is cling and I'm going to go ahead and do about four coats just spreading that across the area where I want my wig to stick down to my skin and a little bit on the cap and basically you apply a coat, let it dry clear, apply another coat, let it dry, another coat, let it dry, and another coat and let it dry a little bit longer. But I've seen people just go ahead and apply their lace right on top of it when it's really, really white. 
and I've done that before but you have to let it dry in the air for about 20 minutes before tying it down. So now I am applying my wig and getting ready to lay it to the glue and you just want to really make sure that the back is secure, it's in place where you want it, and everything is going to match up as near to perfect as you can get it. Going in with my rat tail comb all cleaned off from glue, I'm going to use that to further adhere my wig. I'm also going to make sure, as you can see with my comb, make sure to comb the hair backward. Just keep combing it, keep combing it because you don't want to get hair all stuck in your lace and all nasty and gooey. It can really make your lace look dirty really, really fast. So you want to make sure not to get any hair stuck in there and you want to also try not to touch the lace if you can help it. Using a comb will help and as you'll see a little bit later I'm using somewhat of a toothpick to help um, further add adhesive to my lace. Tweezers are also very helpful in uh, budging and, and keeping your lace and especially the edges of the lace are very very important especially if you didn't cut straight across you're gonna really want to make sure to get all those little curves and squiggles as you can see here I'm going in the detail and making sure that all the areas of my lace gets glued and like I said when you go in and you do detail work like this and if you have to pile glue in a certain area make sure to let it air dry for a few minutes before tying it down in this area you'll see that I forgot a little area that needed some glue so I'm just going in with the edge of my comb spreading it and that area is going to be something that needs to dry and you'll see it dry before I tie it down same goes for this edge over here the edges is an area that a lot of people say they have a hard time getting to stick down you really need to make sure it's clean you really need to make sure there's no hair in your lace and you really need to make sure you're using a proper amount of adhesive as you'll see I go through this wig a million times combing it, combing it, combing it because you, like I said, you don't want any hair getting stuck in the lace, under the lace, like sometimes it'll get stuck under the lace and then you have to like try and pull the hair out, it's just really crazy. Just going in and doing that detail work is really going to help it look really natural. So as you can see this is pretty much the final result and now I'm just going in with a little bit of makeup and applying that to the lace just to kind of give it a little bit more of my skin tone. What I did here was I used a little bit of a concealer that was lighter than my skin but later after this video I did apply my very skin tone foundation. I just feel like my scalp is chocolate like if, if I was completely shiny bald my, my head is one color. My scalp is not really lighter. So that's something you have to take up. It's a personal um, choice. And then going in another step after you're doing your makeup and doing all the glue, just going in and just taming all those little hairs and flyaways, taking a baby wipe with some high percentage alcohol and cleaning off. The lace is really important. But yeah, so you're going to really have to come to a realization or a choice anyway. You have to make a choice whether you want your scalp to be a little bit brighter or the same color as your skin and I think it looks better when it's the same color as my skin. So I plan to wear this unit with no baby hair but I did want to go in and show you how to create some baby hair in the front and I was just debulking a little bit and now I'm cutting the hair and I prefer my baby hair a little bit short. What I do is I'll go in and pull out the very front hairs that um, that were created when I, when I customized my uh, hairline and I'll just go in and cut them pretty short and wispy and then when I do them I know that looks crazy and people are gonna try and roast me but what I like to do is just curve it let it dry I'll use some mousse and then I brush them free so they don't look wet or stuck to my head just very natural kind of swept back into the hair so going in with some of this L'Oreal mousse I just wanted to show you guys the texture of the hair a little bit this is a really, really pretty unit. Again, this is the CBW08 from WowAfrican.com. This is a medium large cap. It's 12 inches. The lace is light brown. So if you guys are interested in checking it out, I will have more information and a discount code in the bottom bar. 
So after putting it on my head, like I said, I did feel like I needed to bring the line back a little bit more and I tried to do a little bit more with it on my head, but I've decided that my next installation, I will definitely go in and bring that line back. And as this unit gets older and older, it will get better and better. I really feel like we're living in this kind of disposable unit world when lace wigs are supposed to last you a little bit longer and get better as you own them so i think within my next two to three applications i'm going to make small adjustments here and there to perfect it all right guys so go ahead and let me know what you thought of this video you can leave your comments and questions in the bottom bar as always i want to thank you so much for commenting rating and subscribing i'll be in touch and hopefully yours are the same bye guys